By the age of 65, more than 90% of people in the United States will develop cataracts. That's according to the American Academy of Ophthalmology. But the good news is there is new surgical and lens technology to help restore quality vision. Dr. William Socha is a laser cataract surgeon at the Center for Sight, and he is here to explain the new Johnson & Johnson Odyssey lens, and he brought along his patient, Sharon Stevens, as well. Uh, thank you both for joining us. Exciting to have this great technology here and I know it's been here at Center for Sight for quite a while. Let's back up and talk about cataracts. <laughs> what are they? What causes them? And why the heck does almost everybody end up with some version of them? Right. Well, thanks for having us here, Stephanie and Sharon. Thank you again for coming here today and testifying. And, you know, it's always great to hear from a doctor and talk about a technology, but the best thing is to hear from a patient. Right. So it'll be interesting to hear what uh, Sharon has to say. But yes, I think stepping back a moment, uh, what is a cataract? As oftentimes when people come in for cataract surgery, they know they're having something removed. Moved, and, but sometimes still to this day they're surprised and they hear oh I'm getting an implant and it's like well yes is when we're removing a cataract we're removing your natural lens a cataract is simply uh, your natural lens that you were born with so at birth you think about a contact lens that's miniature it's crystal clear and over the years that lens gradually gets thicker it starts to discolor starts to get a little bit cloudy happens earlier for different people at different ages some diseases, uh, diabetes, uh, certain medications like prednisone can hasten the cataract, make it get cloudier quicker. So we're doing cataract surgery for people who really need it anywhere from people in their 50s to, you know, 100. And sometimes even people that much younger than 50 for various reasons, like I mentioned, with the diseases, et cetera. And obviously you know. the technology has changed over the years. Yes. Cataracts aren't new, uh, nor is cataract surgery, but obviously I'm sure we can keep making improvements. Right. So how has the Odyssey lens improved uh, patient results? Yeah, well, the Odyssey lens, I, I like to use this because also just to... Uh, put on another hat for a moment I'm also something that most people don't know certified in something called functional medicine and we like to utilize that terminology of medicine 3.0 and medicine 2.0 which is our typical didactic medicine we have a problem how do we treat that problem medicine 3.0 I think moving forward is where the Odyssey comes in how do we optimize I think uh, earlier here before we started on the set you said well it's why do we want to just get by and that's exactly what we're gonna talk why we're gonna talk about the Odyssey today the Odyssey is something what we refer to as typically known as a multifocal lens technology. And basically what that means is that that lens implant is calculated so that you can see great far away, but built into it are optics so that you can have a more full range of vision. And I use that word very carefully because I would argue, as the company would as well, Johnson & Johnson, that this is the first of what's referred to as a full range of vision. IOL or intraocular lens, meaning that when we're replacing that cataract with this implant, we're giving people not just three points. I think Sharon will talk about her glasses where I had something, if I looked up like this way, I could see far away, and then if I look in the middle, I can see here, and if I look down, I can see there. And oftentimes, similarly with some of the multifocal lens technologies, you can see these points, but you have holes in them. And this is the first where there's really no break in the vision, where we see fully, where we can adjust and adapt. And we don't have to move our head. The lens implant's doing that. Sharon, how has this changed your everyday? I do a lot of data entry for Senior Friendship Center as a volunteer. I no longer have to go up and down. Um, I'm a crafter. The eyes just go wherever I go. It's like I can see distance if I'm driving or if I need to look down the intermediate kicks in and then the close so if I am doing something close and it's it's perfect and if I don't like it there I go here and the eyes just kind of adjust wherever I go it's like my best friend <laughs> <laughs> so you're obviously glad you made the decision to go with this lens. absolutely it was the best decision I ever made I, I it's a game changer for everything just swimming Mm, you know, point. getting up in the morning, you don't have to find your glasses. Getting, you know, it's like they're there. They're with you all the time. And you're comfortable, doctor, with this technology because, um, correct me if I'm wrong, the Center for Sight actually worked in some of the trials with this lens even before it was, you know, widespread. And something that we like to stress is we don't just call it the Odyssey. It's called the Technus Odyssey. Technus is a platform that Johnson & Johnson has now been using since, really, 
pre-2005. And I've had an opportunity to work with the company all these years. So I see lens implants on a very similar platform that I put in almost 20 years ago that look like I put them in last week. So it speaks to the quality of the material. As far as the quality of the vision in the Technus platform, it's always had the superior what's referred to as correcting for aberrations, like what's called spherical aberration or color aberration, chromatic aberration. The basic platform already did it. Technus, with this Odyssey lens, took it even to another level. They took that basic platform and they customized it whereby it's not like the other multifocal lenses. So when you look at the curves and all the mathematics of it, which gets a little boring, you know, but to understand why is it able to do these things, it's really quite special. So to answer your question, last year before it was even released, they said we really want some of our top centers to do some studies with this. And so we basically had the first trial, which was called the real world experience, if you will. I believe it was six centers, um, like nine different surgeons, 96 bilateral different patients, and just took one month data. Didn't do anything like LASIK or some of the other things you can do afterwards to fine tune things, and found that 97% of folks were totally glasses free. Wow, that's yeah. an amazing yeah. statistic, and that's certainly been true oh, yeah. for Sharon. It's <laughs> yeah. great to hear of the wonderful things that are happening right here on the Sun Coast and the advancements that can be made in our vision health. For more information on the Odyssey lens for cataract surgery or any other of your eye concerns, you can go to centerforsight.net. We'll be right back.